Howdy everyone, Chase here with Silencer Shop, and this is the RXD22 Ti from Ruger and Dead Air. Just like the RXD30 Ti, this thing is going to be using 3D printed titanium and the Triskelion baffle system. That's going to be awesome on these rimfire guns because it manages the gas pressure. Not that gas blowback is a big deal on 22 rimfires or other rimfire calibers, but it eliminates a lot of the port pop and first round pop. So this thing sounds quiet, whether you're running it on something really short like our SSH pistol, a full-size 1022, or a bolt gun. It's also rated for things like 22 Magnum, 17 HMR, and even 57 by 28 So when you get into those little higher pressure rounds, that Triskelion baffle system is going to do a great job of keeping all the sound and pressure headed down range instead of back into the action, which is going to sound worse to your ear. You're going to get gas in your face. You don't want any of that. Triskelion helps solve that problem, and they do it in a really great way. It's all 3D printed in one single structure, which gives it a whole lot of strength, but keeps it really lightweight thanks to that titanium. And in the mount, they use this little XRF muzzle brake mount. It actually has lead capture kind of capabilities baked in there, which keeps the core really clean. So Dead Air says you only have to clean this thing about every 1,000 rounds, and you can clean it really simply. We have a whole video on cleaning solvents. You just dunk this thing in, comes out looking just about brand new, and you'll be good to go. That'll keep your can sounding great and performing great for a lifetime. And if you are going to use a cleaning solvent on the core, make sure you take this little O-ring off. Some of those can get destroyed in certain cleaning solvents, so to avoid any problems, just take that rubber O-ring off before you put this into any sort of cleaning solvent. The RXD22 is kind of three parts. First, you have your XRF muzzle brake. This is threaded half by 28, and then has a taper and right hand thread on here. This muzzle brake is just gonna help kind of break up any of that blast and kind of diffuses some of the muzzle gases before they hit the blast baffle and the suppressor. It's gonna help with erosion, but it also just kind of directs things where they need to go for this 3D printed Triskelion core to work its best. This uses the same sort of technology that you see in some of the other dead air rifle cans, like the Lazarus or Sandman X or RXD30. It's all 3D printed from titanium. It stays super lightweight, but it's really strong. Like we said, it's rated for up to 5.7. Full auto rated on 22, so you can run this through its paces, even on shorter barrels or semi-auto guns you're not gonna have any problems. And the main tube is also titanium to keep that weight down. And it comes in a couple of colors. You can get burnt bronze or black Cerakote. Both finishes look really cool. If you're going for that 50 shades of FDE look, I really like the burnt bronze one, but pick whatever you like on your rifles. Mounting the RXD22 is super simple. You just take the XRF mount, mount that onto your favorite rimfire. It's half by 28 threads. And then your RXD just screws right on there right hand threads righty tighty and that taper will kind of cinch everything down and get it nice and tight both of these use common wrench flat sizes so you don't need any special tools to take this down wrenches come right in the box the ones that you're going to need or just a standard crescent wrench you probably already have the tools to take this thing apart the best part is you can put a couple of these xrf devices on each of your guns so if you have an ssh and a 1022 and a Ruger precision rifle, you can kind of mount one of these on each of those guns and then move your RXD22 from gun to gun super simply without having to mess around with different mounting systems. The RXD22 Ti is super lightweight, weighs about five and a half ounces with the brake on there. And it's just the right size, it's like five and a half inches long or so. So you don't really notice it on your guns too much until you take that first shot and then you're blown away by how quiet it is. We shot it on 22 pistols, rifles, we shot it on 5.7, 17 HMR, on everything, even those really fast supersonic rounds like the 17 and the 5.7. We were really impressed with how great this thing sounded. That Triskelion baffle system really helps regulate the pressure, so kind of sounds really similar whether you're shooting it on a pistol or a rifle. You don't get um, that really aggressive first round pop or port pop thanks to that Triskelion system kind of managing the gas and allowing that to go through the silencer instead of come back into the action, which can be a problem on some of those pistols especially. Sounded really great on all the hosts we ran it on, and the weight is just right. It keeps the total system weight really low. You don't notice it too much on the end of your gun. Really good upgrade for any of those rimfire systems. The RXD22 Ti is 5.6 inches long, 
weighs 5.6 ounces with the mount and has a diameter of 1.1 inches. We were really impressed with the RXD22. It kind of does everything that we want a 22 can to do. It's easy to take apart. It's easy to clean. It sounds great on a bunch of different hosts and calibers. The weight is right. The size is right. Kind of just that perfect balance of things that we look for in a rimfire silencer. And it's available in two cool colors so you can get it to match your guns however you like. If you have any questions about the RXD22, go ahead and leave a comment down below. While you're down there, subscribe to the YouTube channel and subscribe to the newsletter. That's where you'll get notified of any upcoming deals, news, and info about new silencers like this one. So thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.